Have you had a test come back positive for urea plasma or mycoplasma and your doc was not even a little bit worried? This is confusing. And why is it confusing? We're gonna find out. Hi, I am your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. Urea plasma and mycoplasma are bacteria. They can live in the urogenital tract. This means in your genitals and on your pee hole and areas of that site. Now, some people it can be a problem and some people can be asymptomatic from it, but we're still trying to understand when to treat and when to kind of just like let it be because this is actually really controversial. Up to 70% of people can actually carry urea plasma without a single symptom. This is why it's not recommended that you just routinely check asymptomatic people because so many people will carry it as part of our normal sort of bacterial balance all over our bodies. But then you get the other side of the coin, which is that some people can have symptoms from these bacteria and they can cause urethritis, which is irritation and burning when you pee at your pee hole, pelvic pain or PID from an infection going up into your pelvic organs. For some people, there used to be a belief of infertility being the source of a big problem, as well as pregnancy concerns of preterm labor or infection complications. See how confusing this gets? The trickiest part is what do you do when a test comes back positive but somebody does not have symptoms? If you have symptoms, there are reasonable paths to treatment in these scenarios, especially if you're high risk for certain conditions like infertility or preterm labor. However, if you are asymptomatic with a positive, there is no universal guidelines for treatment in this scenario. And I have people that are certainly watching a lot of social media and beyond and saying, that urea plasma or mycoplasma might be the source of many, many symptoms. But if 70% of you are positive without a symptom, how do you know when to treat and when not to treat? And this is where it gets dicey. So some docs may do it and some may not. It's worth a nuanced conversation with some doc who is comfortable testing for urea plasma and mycoplasma and deciding if and when it's time to treat. Because if you're having something recurrent over and over, but your routine tests are negative, this may be the perfect scenario where tests for urea plasma and mycoplasma make sense.